Here are my seven secrets to buy cheaper lens online. First one, look around the obvious. Don't just rush on eBay and type if you want like a 50 mm 1.4. Don't just type Canon FD 50 mm 1.4. Maybe look for 50 mm or just 1.4 or maybe Canon FD lens and that's all or maybe Canon FD 50 mm or just maybe just lens or old lens or old camera. So just try to look around the really obvious. Secret number two, there is not just eBay. In each country, there is different kind of uh, buying sites like eBay, but you can find in your own country some smaller sites that are specialized in old stuff that people want to sell for a really cheap price. And maybe you will find in this kind of less famous sites, uh, some old cameras. The third secret is to learn to take risks. So if you find a really cheap lens, but it's dirty, or it says it's missing parts, or it's for repair, maybe you should take a risk and still buy it. So if you buy for $5 or something and you manage to fix it or to clean it, then you have a lens for $5. For example, I bought on eBay a Canon FD lens, a 200mm lens, and it was said to be in really bad shape and really dirty. So when I received it, I managed to open the lens and clean the front glass, and the lens was like new. So I bought and I took a risk for $5 and I got a brand new lens just after cleaning. Be patient. You know, you will not find a 50 mm 1.2 on the first day that you're looking for it. So you need to have goals, but you need to be patient. Maybe it will take months or years before you find a cheap version of what you're looking for. You need to establish your own limits. When you're buying lens online, you need to tell yourself how much I want to spend. And if the lens you just saw is $50 more than what you want to spend, then forget it. Because if you add each lens you buy and you do that all the time, the price is going to be huge. Secret number six is that you need to check if the seller is a pro. If he's a pro, then you have no luck to find cheap lenses. He knows the price, he knows how much each lens costs, and he checked himself on eBay before you. So the best chance you have is to find normal people who have no clue what they're selling, who never did photography, and who just got the old camera from their uncle or from their grandparents, and they just want to get rid of it. So then you can find really good lenses for cheap. The last secret is look for gold in the junk. Never underestimate the power of ignorance. So if people don't know what kind of lens it is and if they never did photography, they can sell some really incredible lens for really cheap. But you will have to look inside the junk you find online and analyze the bad photos and the bad description and maybe ask the sellers exactly what they are selling. So if you find someone just with a really bad photo of a lens saying it's a 50 millimeter, maybe you could ask him, is it 51.2, 1.4, 1.8? And maybe it will be 1.2 and it will sell it for $20. So you can, you can never know what kind of gold is hidden inside the junk. Soon I will do another video about the nine secrets to find cheaper lines in real life. So don't forget to subscribe and check my Weird Lenses reviews, my experiments, and also check my Patreon page. And thanks to all my new Patreons that helped me find new ways to take weird photos. Thanks.